Hey everybody, so anybody who knows me, anybody who knows my brand, uh, knows that I'm a little bit obsessed with Mr. Beast at this point. Like for whatever reason, I just casually find myself paying attention to Mr. Beast, paying attention to what the man does, you know, watching his videos, checking out his content. The reason why I'm telling you this right now is that just the other day I was on YouTube just perusing the internet for another Mr. Beast Minecraft video when I stumbled upon a realization that's probably obvious to any sort of Mr. Beast stand, but which may be new to my audience, which is that in almost all of these thumbnails, his face is the same. Like, he uses the exact same picture of his face in almost every single one of these Mr. Beast gaming thumbnails. This is inherently terrifying, right? Just seeing this one face looking off in the distance with that smile at some Minecraft event that's about to happen to him. There's something off-putting about that. But the thing that I find much more scary about it is that it was a choice. Like, if you go earlier on the Mr. Beast uh, gaming YouTube channel, if you look at earlier thumbnails, they don't all use the same picture. Almost every single one of them has a new hot Mr. Beast pick on it that he's constantly pursuing and having a good time with. It's only in the last year that he's shifted to doing this one face over and over and over again. Why Mr. Beast is using the same face of himself over and over is because he thinks that that's optimal YouTube strategy. He thinks that that's benefiting his business. He thinks that's the right way to, to do it. There was a day around a year ago where Mr. Beast looked at that picture of his face and said, yeah, that's probably what we're going to be using from now on. And that was fine for him. And of course, the tragedy of all this is that Mr. Beast has like 150 million subscribers and I have like 600,000, you know? He's right. He's right. He's doing the right thing, I guess.